Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather. It's day 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to 25th of July and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the uh, CFS and ECM ensembles based on traffic of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us into the first half of August. I should get over that for you in a moment. Just to say that first a video is there with our 6 said UK weather forecast. Please like share and subscribe on today's videos and content and thank you so much everybody for doing that for gals well, thank you so much everyone uh right let's start off with bct the central england temperature is still sitting at 14.4 uh, which is 1.6 degrees below 61 to 99 average that is provisional to yesterday to the 14th of july so approaching the uh middle of the month halfway through the month and um going to be significantly below average. These are the 500 millibar high tonic flow charts at Penn State University for the next week to 10 days. We've got the ECM WF on the top and the GFS down here on the bottom. 500 millibars, 18,000 feet, is an area in the actual high pressure and low pressure are being moved around by the jet stream running above. Uh, red and orange extrapolates to above average heights, which is uh, high pressure blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. You see that the ECM in the 7 day time frame has a low pressure to our north between Iceland and Scandinavia. High pressure is uh, in the Atlantic. That's the Azores high, of course. And uh, winds coming in are generally westerly direction. It's really the setup that we've had throughout most of the month so far. Uh, the GFS is very similar, but if anything, it's uh, more unsettled. The top of low pressure is further south and also deeper uh, into the northern half of the country. And again, we bring those westies in from off the Atlantic with high pressure away towards uh, the Azores in the Atlantic there. Uh, right, so uh, these are the GFS of red temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at London today. The red line is the third year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off around to below average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. They do get a bit of a pick up in the second half of this week, becoming warmer about Wednesday to Friday. Then after that, we've got a cooling trend through the coming weekend and uh, on into uh, next week. Looks like the uh, last week of July could go a bit cooler than average. Although, having said that, there is quite a bit of scatter within that. We have got some warmer options on the table, including the GFS Midnight Operational Run, which is this thick green line. That becomes quite warm uh, through the last week of July. Um, precipitation wise, we're going to be a lot of wet weather to come uh, through the rest of today, tonight, and into tomorrow. Then we get a drier middle part of week in the southeast, anyway, not so in the north and northwest. And then it starts to turn more unsettled again, really, as we get through the weekend and uh, potentially into next week, too. Temperature anomalies from the 15th, 23rd of July, just a little bit below average, not as cool as it has been, but still. About average just slightly below. And precipitation anomalies from the 15th, 23rd of July. Most areas about average. A little bit wetter than average through the central sway of the country. And a bit drier than average in the far southeast corner and across the northeastern parts of Scotland. Right, so we have a map from uh, earthnorthschool.net show the next area of low pressure is uh, just to the southwest approaches, and uh, that's going to be bringing lots of wet weather, heavy rain, possibly thunder, some places through this afternoon, uh, tonight, and then we'll clear away into the North Sea tomorrow. Watch out, some localised flooding in some areas. Right, should we start going through the chart data then? Why not do that? This is the latest UK mate. You're right. He's looking for big night on Thursday. A little transient ridge then. So a little bit drier and warmer for the second half of the week. That uh, ridge gets broken down into the weekend. Uh, for the next areas of low pressure start meandering their way in. So by the time we get through to this time next week, which is Monday 22nd of July, we're back under low pressure, looking rather cool and unsettled. But we do get a few days of warmer, drier weather especially myself, at the end of this week. 
I kind of get how's that little transient ridge through the country with uh, low pressure out to the Atlantic. Probably a ridge under pressure, but ridge just about holding on from Friday into Saturday. By Saturday to Sunday, then low pressure starts advancing in from off the Atlantic with a rather unsettled look to the weather chart by the time we get through to the end of the weekend. The KMA is uh, much of a much is still with that little transient uh, ridge at the end of the week, but gets broken down through the weekend as low pressure heads in from off the Atlantic. And then next week looking quite unsettled, low pressure remaining in the ascendancy there, cool and showering up to day 10. Um, and in beyond it, just beyond day 10, gets to the 27th of July. The Azores High still away from us, not bridging properly to set up a sustained dry and warm pattern. And so we just remain in those rather cool and showery northwesterly winds. GFS Midnight Run, where well, again, has a sort of that little transient reach for Thursday. And it's still there into Friday, especially in the south. But by Saturday, the next area of low comes in off the Atlantic. That will bring unsettled conditions with it. And then through the weekend into next week, turns increasingly unsettled and cooler with winds back in from the west northwest direction. Rather cool, rather showery as we move up towards day 10. Beyond day 10, again, we get another little ridge trying to build up from the uh, Azores high there. A long way out now, of course. Um, but overall, low pressure keeps on coming, especially from the north and the west. Plenty of rain still to come there. Always a little bit drier and warmer down in the south. We end the GFS midnight run. High pressure to both the south and the east. Low pressure is out to the west. A little bit warmer and drier there for the last day of July, but the next lows are definitely waiting in the wings. A six set in comparison, again, with that little transient ridge on uh, Thursday, gets broken down through the weekend as low pressure Heads in from off the Atlantic, turning things cooler and more unsettled through the weekend, start of next week. Then another little transient ridge building in from the Azores High through the early part of next week. Perhaps a little bit more ridgy with the uh, six day compared to the big night run. Um, and that carries on actually into a more extended range as well. So the South getting quite a lot of dry and warm weather here actually through the last week of July with a six head. Um, always a bit more unsettled, though, up in the north. But six there does look a little bit more promising. I think some drier and warmer weather. Shall we see if we can find out where that's ranking within the ensembles? So it's one of the warmer ensemble members. Not an outlier, necessarily, but, you know, it's on the warmer end of the range. You'll notice the ensemble mean, which the white line, is actually uh, average to a little bit cooler average, but it is a uh, warmer uh, lift up as we get to a very, very heavy ensemble mean. Not quite dry, but I have to say, but ensemble graph, remember that is for uh, London, though. Uh, right, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe, and show you everyone for doing that. Why don't drop a comment, let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web is get them to subscribe too. We thank you so much everybody for doing that. We only need to put on around 10 subscribers now, probably fewer than that, to get to uh, 18.6k. So if you could give us a sub and get us to our next 100 within 18,000, that would be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much everyone. GM, again, with that high pressure weakening on uh, the ridge, weakening on Thursday, but still just about holding on. But into the weekend, lower pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. So by the end of the weekend, we're all looking rather cooler and uh, more showery again, really. And then on into uh, next week, just remains rather flat, rather westy, rather zonal. So uh, the westies keep on coming with further showery bursts in the north and west, and temperatures probably a bit below par. And then the east um, rounds it all off with uh, high pressure, bridging through the south of the country in particular, on Thursday, still there on Friday. Lower pressure starting to burn to the northwest on Friday through to Saturday. As we go from Saturday to Sunday, then it starts to turn more unsettled, even down in the south. And we move up towards uh, day 10 with a rather showery and quite cool west or northwest sea flow. That's the setup for day 10, which is the 25th of July. A little ridge into the south, a little bit drier then. But the next low is out in the Atlantic. It all looks very westerly, very zonal, and not particularly inspiring. This is a precipitation broadcast based on the East Chevron from Tometro.com. Loads of heavy rain come for England and Wales through the rest of today and into tonight. 
Could be some thunder mixed in with that. And watch out below localised flooding. Tomorrow it takes a while to take that uh, rain away into the North Sea. And then we've got heavy fungi showers developing in the uh, central northern part of the country. Now we get a dry day as we go through to Wednesday. But by Thursday and Friday rain coming back into the northwest. Well, the south and south be probably then mostly dry through the remainder of the working week but we get into the weekend and then in fact comes the rain from off the Atlantic and even down in the south there's wet weather piling in there and uh, further showery bursts keep on coming all the way up toward day 10. Now this is the offshore table in the ECM ensembles from last night's 12Z uh, 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 set so uh, the, uh, uh, the ensemble clusters have an update at the Icelandic Met Office today so far this morning so, this is from last night's 12Z set. So, day 10 with this is the 24th of July, with uh, low pressure still to the northeast and out in the Atlantic, high pressure down to south and southwest. So, uh, at that point, still looking rather cool and showery. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we have. It gets us to the 29th of July. 16 members of the ECM ensembles were keeping it unsettled with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, and the wind remaining. From the west, and they've got 13, we have 13, with low pressure to our east, rather cool and showery. Nine with high pressure reaching up from the southwest, a little bit drier, probably a bit on the cool side uh, with that. And another nine with low pressure, pretty much centered over the top of the country. And then this is the warmest, driest option for. Um, just four. Um, so very much a minority with higher pressure towards Scandinavia, which would bring the wind around to an easy direction. And of course, that is a warm, potentially even hot wind direction um, in late July. But only four going for that. So very much a minority. Uh, right, CFSB2 lastly. Uh, so these are 500 millibar high tides going down into week periods. The first week period will take us to the 15th. 21st of July, the next week looks unsettled, low pressure remains from the Atlantic, so cool, unsettled conditions continue into week two, which is going to be the 22nd, 28th of July, low pressure again is over and to the north, high pressure is over and to the south, and winds remaining from that uh, westerly direction. So weeks one and two, both looking rather showery and unsettled, week three. <laughs> will be the 29th of July to the 4th of August with low pressure towards Iceland high pressure from the Azores in towards France and Spain so remains westerly remains zonal, perhaps a bit drier in the south but overall I would think it's still relatively mixed and uh, not much sign of any sort of improvement for week 4 really, it's the 5th to the 11th of August so high pressure is through central parts of Europe and in the Atlantic, low pressure up towards Greenland. I'd imagine the low pressure and projection is probably coming through here uh, with projecting something a little bit like that. So even into week four, it's probably still a bit Atlantic driven and a little bit mixed. Um, <laughs> there's not much more to say, really, is there? On and on it goes, rinse and repeat. Okay, we're done. If you have enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to show everyone for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz Webbers. Get them to subscribe too. And uh, we thank you so much, everyone, for doing that for Gaz Webbers. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, right, I'll just tell us how many on the channel tomorrow. Oh, by the way, 10 subscribers going to get us to 18.6k, so please give us a sub. Thank you so much. Uh, right, I'll just tell us how many on the channel tomorrow. We're going to have the uh, UK weather forecast released at 6 a.m. We're going to have the extended uh, European outlook, and uh, there'll be a 10 to 14 day, as always. But for this one, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your uh, Monday afternoon, and try to stay dry if you're out and about in the rain tonight and uh, well, this afternoon, this evening, or tonight. It's going to turn very, very wet in some places. So, uh, you know, particularly off out on the road, just uh, take it easy, take care, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.